Hey, it's me, Dana, and about a year or two or maybe longer ago, I made a video on how to configure your router or your DNS settings on your computer to use Norton ConnectSafe to help filter your traffic and as um, keep people off bad sites. Well, anyhow, November 18th, 2000. 18 it closed down so what's a person to do now what we have now is another site called clean browsing dns filters all right so i've been trying this out lately trying to give it a go there's some uh guides over here that tells you how to do it so i'm going to show you a couple things basically let's look at this real they have for free they have uh three uh, like preset filters you can use the first one is just security filter so this is the IP address that you use for that I'll talk about that in a minute so what this does is it uh, blocks malicious domains uh, phishing and malware so at the very 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 minimum everybody should use this all right very minimum the next thing is the adult domains block search engines such as safe mode and the security filter so if you want to be uh, you know got kids in the house you might want to use this one and the, the final one is the family filter this blocks proxies VPNs and all kinds of other bad stuff it makes YouTube uh, safe mode which means you're not gonna see those violent type videos and different bad things that will corrupt your family and your husband or your wife plus it has the adult filter here so this has everything that this has and everything this has plus more I pay five bucks a month you can uh, customize your stuff to be even better another site that used to be really good was uh, open DNS and unfortunately they uh, got kind of money hungry and here's the IP addresses down here at the bottom but they got kind of money hungry and for the free stuff they don't do a very good job anymore so I don't recommend them anymore plus they used to give this away to schools and then after schools start using it and then they start wanting to charge the schools so they're, they're kind of like uh, you know yeah okay so we got these uh, DNS so let's say I'm paranoid I don't want uh, my wife you know look at anything bad so what I'll do is uh, I want this number right here and actually most times you have two DNS's so here are the same number is again along with this number so the only thing different is instead of eight you have a nine over here so you can use either one of those um, or you can use both of them so I'll copy this here for now typically you can do this in two places you can do this on your Windows machine or whatever you got or you can do it on your router this is a emulator d-link router so what you do you log into your router usually you put the IP address up here or something you have to look at your instructions and there's so many types of routers that I couldn't really like make a demo to show every single one but anyhow you figure out how to get to this page in your router and, and d-link is a pretty popular brand and then you usually go to your internet settings here and by default these settings will set themselves when you plug your router in to your ISP but you can actually find some manual settings here and click on that here I have these manual settings and the first thing it says my internet connection is dynamic DHCP so 99.9% .9 of the times this is what you have unless you have a business or something what we want to do we would want to like, change these DNS settings right down here and I'm copying and pasting this and let me grab this other other one tell you what DNS is real quick so DNS is like a phone book for the internet when you go to yahoo.com the internet doesn't know what yahoo.com is it has to like check with this DNS which is kind of like a phone book you think of your cell phone right now like how many phone numbers do you actually memorize not very many what you do remember is people's names 
when you call somebody, you usually look their name up, you call it, and in the background, the phone number is being dialed. Kind of the same thing with the internet. You want to go to Yahoo, it translates it to um, an IP address, and it goes to it. So, like, where are these IP addresses? Like, how, where are these servers? It's these servers right here. Typically, your ISP supplies this information for you, but you don't have to use your ISP. You can use other DNS servers. In this case, we're using the clean browsing DNS. So they're going to be our phone book for us. And just like a phone book, when we say, hey, we want to go to a bad site, this DNS company is going to look at their phone book and say, wait a minute, this is not on our list of clean sites and it's not going to allow you to go to the bad site. If you have a router you want to find your internet settings or your WAN settings and you want to try to figure out where the DNS is and then you would um, click the save button somewhere which I don't see a save button. Oh save settings right here. So you would click save and it would save the settings. So this is an emulator that you can like practice with online. You just google router emulators and you can figure out where your um, where your settings are and if anybody's really uh, if you're a friend of mine and you and you got a certain type of router and you have questions I could probably figure out like how to do this so but try to figure it out yourself so the other thing uh, so how long is this going seven minutes so the other thing you can do configure these settings directly on a PC so let's go ahead and take a look at that here in a second Okay, I'm on this computer here and I'm going to go to the internet and I need everybody to close their eyes and get all the kids out of the room because we're going to look at playboy.com. So, yeah, you know, yikes. Hope, hope Jody doesn't walk in. So, we can't have this. This is not allowed in our house. So, I'll close that. So, what I do, I come down here to the internet and network and internet settings and we want to keep finding our way and you think I would know how to do this by now since I teach people. So we want to go to our Ethernet settings or our wireless settings. It depends. So the ideal thing is to do this on your router but you can do it on individual um, machines or whatever. I keep going down and you can Google how to set DNS and we're gonna go to the TCP IP4. We want to like set our DNS here. If I remember right, it was like 185, and then it was, uh, actually I got it typed over there, 228, and then 168, and 168. And the numbers down here were almost identical, except for it was 169, and then 168. So what happens while you have two is um, it'll try one, and let's say for some reason this DNS server is busy or it doesn't respond, then it will go to the alternate one. So typically you really only need one. Just to prove it, I'll go ahead and get rid of one of them. All right, so we're good. We'll click OK, OK, and close. And we can, I'll just minimize these because I'm gonna go back and change this later. So open up Google again, and we'll go back to our, uh, bad site and it says the site cannot be reached. I mean the rest of your internet works, right? So there's yahoo.com and tampicoillinois.com. Yep, all works. Go to the naughty sites, they're blocked. So I don't know, I don't have a list of naughty sites to go to, I'm sure you guys do. That's how you can protect yourself on the internet by modifying your DNS settings. Okay, that's it for now. Thank you.